coming up on this week's episode. Civil Air Patrol CAP helps train aspiring Air Force pilots. IMC Club celebrates its 10th anniversary and free APS online upset training course announced. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. This weekly program is dedicated to all things flight training, from student pilots taking their first flights to the new commercial pilot getting ready to take on their first flying gig. Thank you for joining us this Wednesday. I'm your new host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today filled with the latest news that you don't want to miss in flight training. So let's start with CAP helping train the next generation of Air Force wings. Civil Air Patrol is one of the four partners in the U.S. Air Force Total Force, consisting of CAP as the Air Force Auxiliary, as well as the National Guard, Air Force Reserve, and Active Duty Air Force. Each partner has specific missions that often foster collaboration. For CAP, the collaboration often consists of participating in training exercises as intercept targets straying into restricted airspace, performing search and rescue missions assigned by the Air Force Rescue Coordinator Center, and in this case, providing essential preparatory training to active duty officers who aspire to achieve their goal of earning their Air Force wings. The Rated Preparatory Program, or also known as RPP, launched in 2019 as an experimental initiative that provides acceleration instruction that identifies future pilots, navigators, and other crew members to help address the Air Force's potential pilot shortage. After the break, in response to the COVID-19 health emergency, the SFAR publishes a second amendment. Those details after the break. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo Power Plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much going on in the aviation industry, we're going to give you a quick rundown of some of the most interesting stories you don't want to miss in this brief segment we call Around the Patch. So let's start with the FAA publishes second amendment to the SBAR 118. They issued a final rule on September 30th that further amends Special Federation Aviation Regulation 118. Aviation activity continues to increase and the industry is beginning to address the backlog of required training, checking, and testing requirements. However, many of the challenges that existed when the FAA first issued the SFAR in April remain today as the public health emergency continues. The document is displayed for the public in the Federal Register. Well, if you're on a budget but still want to learn how to fly, here's some good news. You can get an hour of instruction for almost the same price you pay for that latte. For only $10, you can get IFR flight instruction at West Houston Airport from November 1st to March of next year. Their flight school will be offering a winter IFR special, which will provide people with the opportunity to earn their IFR over the next several months at 1960s prices. The Air Force Test Center's Test Pilot School is selecting who will be attending the new Space Test Fundamental course. The U.S. Space Force Test Directorate and Air Force Test Charters Test Pilot School, or TPS, completed the selection board of the inaugural Space Test Fundamental course. 
So many people wanted to be part of the school, they received about 166 applicants. The lucky few will be part of the 13-week hands-on program. Adversary Air Training coming to a sky above Northwest Florida. Textron Airborne Tactical Advantage Company will provide Eglin Air Force Base with Adversary Air Life Training under the Combat Air Force's contract air support program. The award is worth up to $92 million. ATAC will provide Adversary Air Life Training for F-22 and F-35 pilots at Eglin Air Force Base. The award provides for over 1,100 stories per year for up to four and a half years. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. With more than 400 local chapters, the IMC Club celebrates their 10th anniversary. The IMC slash VMC Club concept, now part of the EAA's pilot proficiency resources, bringing flight safety scenarios to local pilots. With hundreds of clubs around the country, they promote flying, proficiency, and safety. The monthly meetups allow pilots to share information and resources. The one-of-a-kind club provides organized hangar flying focused on building proficiency in instrument flying. The concept is to bring together IFR-rated pilots who can fly in real-world actual IMC and provide them an opportunity to share stories, network with a larger pilot community, and gain valuable insight and tips for their IFR flying. Because the club is so successful, it's led to the creation of VMC Club, which brings similar safety and proficiency-based scenarios for pilots primary flying under visual flight conditions, or VFR. Coming up after these messages, if you want to be overprepared and know what to do if you lose control while in flight, there's a free course you can take. I'll have all of those details after the break. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. We've been using Swift Fuels for five years. We use it on two different Rotax powered aircraft. Swift Fuel gives us the power we need, the reliability we need. We've also found that it has a very long shelf life. It runs clean. We don't have to scrub gunk out of our oil tank. It makes a huge difference compared to 100 low lead. Welcome back. Because you can never be too safe or prepared when you fly, there's a free course you can take to help you stay alive. Because loss of control in flight is the number one cause of fatalities across all sectors of aviation, Aviation Performance Solution is preparing a one hour and a half free UPRT Insights course by APS, addressing an overview of unique and essentials upset training concept for every internet connected pilot worldwide. Whether you're a new pilot or an expert pilot, there's an integrated all new series of full academic UPRT courses that is optional and available to pilots seeking to maximize their safety. This all new series is presented by expert instructors with decades of experience teaching UPRT to pilots at all levels of flight experience. Whether a newly minted private pilot or a senior airline captain, these courses are for everyone and organized into logical bundles from UPRT fundamentals through to applied UPRT in high performance operations. These courses will give pilots a comprehensive overview of critical academics related to life-saving prevention and recovery techniques that are not sufficient to address in certification training. It never hurts to learn more about successful prevention and recovery from an unexpected airplane upset and learn more about their risk and how 
to be prepared. That does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Make sure to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and of course on Twitter. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently operating on our winter schedule and streamed Monday and Friday with Airborne Unmanned alternating with Airborne Flight Training each Wednesday. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.